Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is x minus y is equal to 2. x, y is equal to 2. To find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations. Now, in the first step, we start by letting this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. Then, from equation 1, which is this x minus y is equal to 2, we'll take this minus y to the right side. So it will be this x is equal to minus y take to this side to be positive y, then plus this 2. Then from equation 2, whereas equation 2, it is this x, y is equal to 2. Then we'll substitute the value of x, which is this y plus 2. So into here, x, we substitute this y plus 2, then bracket, times this y is equal to this 2. Then in the next step, we'll take this y times y is y square. Then plus y times 2 is 2y is equal to this 2. Then we'll take this 2 to the left side. So it will be this, which is y square plus 2y. 2 will take to the left side to be minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation, in terms of y, we'll solve this by using quadratic formula. So, from quadratic formula, to find the value of y is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then, into here, it will be y is equal to negative b, it is this 2, so it will be negative 2 plus or minus square root of b square it will be this 2 square then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is this negative 2 then over 2 times a a is 1 then in the next step it will be y is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square is 4 then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Then over this times this is 2. Then it will be y is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of this plus this is 12. Then over this 2. Then it will be y is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 12 is same as square root of 4 times 3 then over this 2 then it will be y is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times this square root of 3 then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part so into here it will be y is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 plus or minus this 2 and this 2 will cancel, so it will be plus or minus square root of 3. Now from this answer, which is y is this value of y, here we have two solutions. y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3. So write this here, which is y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3. So the first value of y is equal to, when it is positive, it will be negative 1 plus square root of 3. So here negative 1 plus square root of 3. And the other second value of x, y is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 3. So here negative 1 minus square root of 3. Then to find the value of x from this here, here x is equal to y plus 2. So from x is equal to y plus 2. So it will be here, this is y1. So to find x1 is equal to y1 here, it is this. So it will be negative 1 plus square root of 3, then plus this 2. Then it will be x1 is equal to negative 1 plus 2. It will be 2 minus 1, which is 1 then plus this square root of 3. Now this is the value of 
y1 y1 and this is the value of x1 so the conclusion for the first solution x1 comma y1 is equal to x1 it is this 1 plus square root of 3 comma y1 it is negative 1 plus square root of 3 so here negative 1 plus square root of 3 then for here second solution from this x is equal to y plus 2 so from x is equal to y plus 2 this is the value of y2 to find the value of x2 is equal to y2 it is this so to be negative 1 minus square root of 3 then plus this 2 then it will be x2 is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 then minus this square root of 3 so this is the value of y2 this is x2 so the conclusion here x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 is this 1 minus square root of 3 comma y2 is negative 1 minus square root of 3 so here negative 1 minus square root of 3 so this is the conclusion for this our problem whereas we have two solutions for x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 now to check if this solution is correct back into this our problem here whereas we have x minus y is equal to 2 and x y is equal to 2 now to check for this first equation here we'll check by using this first solution of x1 comma y1 now x it is this 1 plus square root of 3 then minus y it is this which is bracket negative 1 plus square root of 3 so into here it will be 1 plus square root of 3 we open the bracket by this negative negative and negative to be positive 1 negative and positive it will be negative this square root of 3 now into here this square root of 3 minus square root of 3 will cancel so it will be 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is this so this is correct now to check for this second equation by using the answer from the first solution for x times y is equal to 2 now x it is this so here it will be 1 plus square root of 3 then times y is this negative 1 plus square root of 3 now to get we'll check this if we will give this 2 now from here this will make in form of a perfect square formula now a perfect square formula it is a plus b bracket times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square now into here a plus b we make this a is square root of 3 plus b is 1 so it will be square root of 3 then plus square root of 3 plus 1 then bracket a minus b it will be square root of 3 minus 1 so here square root of 3 minus 1 then into here we have a it is this square root of 3 b it is 1 now a square it will be equal to a square it will be this square root of 3 bracket square then minus b square it will be this 1 square then into here this square root will cancel this square so it will be equal to 3 then minus 1 square is 1 which is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2 now this 2 it is this here so we can see this solution is correct for the first solution now if first solution is correct also the second solution is correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.